Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here at FineTuneCBShop.com Oh, let's see. Well, another, it's going to be another all-nighter. Radios, radios, radios. But I'm going to try to kill as many birds right now with one stone as I possibly can. If you're a striker lover, stay tuned in. Or you might be in the future, stay tuned in. Mr. and Mrs. Green, this is your 33 HP2. And uh, amp guys and others too, you hear me talking about switches. Well, here we go. Low, medium, and high, okay? It's handy. It's one of the reasons I really like the General Lees. You know, and the General HP40s. There's switches. And I'll get into that here in a little bit. <coughs> right now, we don't have to listen to that anymore. Tap all them phenol, no junk. All right, all right. So, what we are listening to right now, oh, by the way, uh, let me turn this off. Just remember that's on, okay? You see it. All right, let's continue this video. You can see the meter, and what I was going to say is, some people have complained about it's blurry or it's not as, as in focus. I did have a wide angle on this thing, and it was blurry. When, I'll tell you what's up here, okay? I'll just tell you. Right now we're set at 67 dB down, and that's one microvolt. That's where you set the S, S9, okay? We're on frequency, exactly on frequency. One K tone. <clears throat> Alright, so watch the RF gain potentiometer and selectivity. And then try your radio like that. No, this is not a stock or factory radio anymore. The scope also signifies purity of the tone and of noise and distortion. The volts, and what we're going to be using is the volts. Let me turn this down, I can't see, but you can see the volume. On the volume pot right there. Alright. Now let's, the RF gain's wide open. Noise blanker, you really always need to see this. A lot of shady dealings going on out there. Right. Those of us that know how to set up a bench, we can look at a bench like that and spot all the problems. So we're showing you how to do that, how to spot the shysters. If you can't see it all, you better have this with paperwork. Otherwise, it'd be like a chicken meter, a bird meter, a dozy meter. It doesn't matter what the meter says at all. So let's get into this a little bit. You're probably sick of hearing me talk. It's all right. Let's drop this down now. Oh, oh. Let's go back to 1K. And uh, let's go on down. I'll let you hear it so you can correlate it. That's 120 at 99. It's 102 at 17 dB down or dB sine add. That's uh, 105 at 30% modulation at 14. Now we're down to uh, 106, 107. We should go 108. Actually, it'll go 110. But I do have one dB loss. To be able to do all these videos, I had to add some wire, and naturally I didn't add junk. All right. Everything that's added on here, I've done it myself, and it's all quality equipment. I did some measuring, and actually to my antenna, the bottom of my ground plane, 
I have less than two to the antenna, but a little bit more than one dB loss in all the equipment that's in here. Because you can still see the signal. Well, you can hear it too. All right. But let's get away from listening to it. Let's look at it. That noise drives me nuts. I don't know about you. You too? Yeah? Yeah, it drives me up the wall. Alright, so now let's go down a little bit more. It's 122. Deadening. He's like, it's 126. Alright. Noise bike off. A little bit of noise. You still hear the tone. You see the tone. Right. There's noise in there. If you would disconnect the antennas, it would be dead quiet. But here we go. Noise blanker. Okay. What you see is always going to be more accurate than what you hear. Think about it. <laughs> Just think about it. And I only believe half of what I see anymore. But really, it's, 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 it's just physics, and how, it's how things work. What you can visualize, it's like in, if you look at the speed of light versus speed of sound, sight is way more accurate than uh, what you hear. And then you have your opinions. Plus, you know, you might have issues with your ears. There's a, there's a lot of things that can happen, a lot of variables. All right, so our gain's wide open. Let's go back to 67. Turn it down. And just turn that off. Alright, so let's go to 67. And we'll go off the scale for a minute as we adjust the volume. You see where everything's set. Alright, we're seeing 33, 34. 67, 30%. That's what I want to point out. Pay attention to the percentage. Now I'm going to go to channel 21. I'm not going to go to 19 because that's skipping two channels. Okay? FCC thing, SAE versus metric. A channels, long story. I might get into that one day. There's 21. Dead me. Okay? There's nothing there. Now I'm going to go to percent of modulation. Okay? Nothing talks, or you don't really hear anything at 30%. When a radio is properly tuned, or tuned to really chop through all the other garbage out there, it maintains a specific ratio at a given set of frequencies that can be heard above anything else and everything else. Fact. Okay? And it will maintain 100%. Well, this, there's a roll-off. And I'm going to show you that too. And let you hear it. If I remember. Okay, so now let's increase this to, say, about 94, 95%. That was 97. That's 94. See a little bit of ripple in there? There it is. We see the increase also. Let's turn that down. Let you hear it. Sound familiar? Drive a man nuts, right? Okay. You see the channel, you see the meter. It's 21. The guys that like chopping them up, or well, let's just say you misalign them and you're catching on, and you're going to do it correctly from now on, because they come to us for this work. Now, every owner is responsible for their own system. If you're splattering and bleeding, it's like walking around with your you know, your pants down below your butt cheeks. It's disgusting, you know? Yeah, I said it. It's freaking disgusting. You are responsible to find the right people that know what they're doing. And the cleaner is better, outperforms the rest, period. All right. Now look what happens. bleed. And that's it. 100 millivolt. That's it. At 113% modulation. Let's drop it down. Squelch isn't set. 
everything's off. Okay, noise blanker off. Now you can hear it real easy. See it? That's bleed over. 22. This is a radio. It's not actually set, you know, at 100%. You have to set this thing. It allows you to check for bleed over. There's more, there are more technical terms, but we're keeping this as lame and as simple as possible. Sounds awesome on that channel. A little bit of distortion, and it's a little bit louder. But if it was tuned properly, you'd have more range. Kill that. Because you'd be able to give it more power at the fundamental. And make the radio last without burning up. Alright, did you catch all that? That's even 19 bleeding a couple channels. See it? So let's bring it back down to say 95. Almost nothing. One channel away. Speaker on, speaker off. Alright. Got that part, remember those numbers. Back to 20. And uh, turn the noise back on. Turn this off. Back over here, put the switch. This is doing great, by the way. It's got the Max Mod in it. Where is it? Oh, that sideways. Mad Max. I'm going to start calling it Mad Max because I'm always getting the damn, the damn name wrong. All right. Turn that one off. To high power. Also set it at 9. Okay. That's a 100. You want to do the math for the 4 to 1? So 4 to 1 just isn't, you just can't use a meter. It doesn't work that way. You'll always get too much or too less. The peak ratios will be screwed up, the biasing will be all screwed up. This one was tuned with the uh, Max Mod to where, yeah, on high power you talk all day long and play music, you're going to get it hot. The whole radio. I'll get in there. I'll, I'll show you. Okay. Alright. Radio's kicking some butt. It's tuned to talk, crystal clear, and have range. You know, cut. Whenever you start seeing, you know, screw up waves, that gives the time for a clean radio just to walk on through. It's kind of like if you guys ever arm wrestled, there's techniques. You can go up against a guy five times your size. Not everybody, but a lot bigger than you. And every time they let off for a split second and they go to push on it, that's when you give it to them. You go down three more inches. They go to do it again, you go down another three inches. Anyways, we'll stop on that. Well, it's like you're getting between the signals because it's wide open. You're at carrier cutoff. All right, makes sense. Let's take a look at it. 30 megahertz span. Nice. Go to medium power. This is where you can probably talk on it all day long. And make this thing last. It's been worked on accordingly. There's no half-ass shit in here. No half-ass work at all. It'll last you. Don't bake it in the sun, freeze it, or shake it in a paint shaker. You know, I've got videos on how to make radios last. Decent radio. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, crystal clear, awesome. Completely awesome modulation. Crystal clear. Low power.
also. Crystal clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the scope. And eh, not bad. Alright. Now let's talk back on. Well, it's a little bit echo. Let's let's listen to it through the ranger. I'll shut the talk back off and we'll talk back. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's my wonderful noise outside, you like that? I've been studying it on the scope too, it's really strange. The scope measures measures DC or, or voltage. And then it's going up and down, up and down, up and down. I might do a video on that. Can't seem to figure out that noise. So let's get the SRA 198. We contour the tune for this mic. I like them. They're pushing them the way they're made. They're, they're, they're cheap. You buy them you know, for a cheap price. They work great. And they come with certain radios. All right, there it is right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, 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 audio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit of echo. Break, 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 break. Audio, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Medium power, audio. Wide open, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker. Yeah, nice little radio. And there's that weird sound. My meter's going all over the place, too. Alright, so next on the bench is a uh, another SR955. Green family, I hope you enjoy the radio. This one plugged in. This is, I've been meaning to do this for years since they came out. I never got around to it. But we're going to try to achieve it this time. We're going to do this one backwards. We're going to start with the transmit and go back to the receive. So I hope you remembered those all those numbers. Right, we got it in view. It might be hard to see this. So break. I didn't think about that when I started doing the video. Let's see if it's readable. Yeah, it is. What I want to show you is the meter. I'll start out with this one. Wide up the power. And change this. Call this the standard. The 955s. It's not a factory radio. It's been tuned. You know, tuning just isn't making adjustments on POS. It's components, their values, their vector. There's more to it than just changing parts. All right, so here we go. It's wide open power. This is what they do, okay? Literally, it's what they do. Wide open. All the way down, wide open. Stick the ranger mic on it. All right, there we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get some echo going on. Shut the echo off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, 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 break. Audio. And that speaker over there is the uh, unit NESP20 bear cap. Audio four five six. Yeah, see the meter. All right. So if you're not showing you everything in plain sight, well, I won't make any nasty comments. Four five six seven eight nine ten. Break break break. That's what they'll show. Is it really real? Not really. Okay, now let's get to the receipt. Oh. What I wanted to show you is, I'm, I'm seeing it, I'm hearing it. The meter on this, they're fairly accurate on the carrier. All right? Fairly accurate. Let me somebody let you see this. All right. Yes, this does have the Mad, Mad Max in it. 
it's not made to generate extra peak watts, just a, a watt or two continuous and run cooler. When they run cooler, they run more stable, less spade. Okay? And you still don't have to run a radio like this wide open, halfway. And you've got a, way, a carrier and a modulated carrier with the frequency response of these radios after they're tuned. They're going to stroke. But here we go. Look at the meter. See it? It's almost showing 20. But when modulated, it's only showing 40. I'll use the mic here and let me kill the talk back. Ain't that nice? No more noise? Can't wait for winter time though, man. Shut the damn air conditioner off. Yeah, nice and cool. Alright, so the meters, when you see these meters whacking up to like max or up there, there's something seriously wrong. There are adjustments, not, you know, variables. It's, it's components that have to be changed. Usually when uh, the radios are matched up to amps, depending on what I'm doing, how it's being set up, then those adjustments are made. But new radios, I don't do it. Not on new radios. Alright, now let's put a mic to it and watch the meter. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Audio. The meter is not going to show you the correct power. It's not that it's doing, the radio's doing less, it's the meter that's doing less, okay? And that's all versions. This is like one of the later versions. It's my radio. So now let's go to uh, receive on this one. Turn the noise box back on. testing another update with this one on the receive hard to explain in a short period of time but you're going to see it oh my it's, it's got hold on a minute okay. hold on I just did another line, I did another line level. okay can you, can you hold on one second hold on you're sitting on a radio and you're in a video, so hold on a minute. I just gotta remember where I was here. All right, now we're back to the uh, 955, and uh, we're gonna repeat the process that we did on the Galaxy. All right? Phone rang, got me screwed up. Not screwed up. It's okay, Scott. There we are. Same settings. Let's turn the tone off. You still see it. We're on channel 20. 